and that are we guaranteed the right to protest in our charter? All right, sir. Does our charter yeah, mean anything aside, anymore? Sir. He's entitled to his privacy. I'm not interfering. I wasn't obstructing anything. I was trying, trying to get your name to the protest. Step back. Don't touch me. Don't step back. You're not touching me. You're touching me. Step back. You're walking towards me. Get back. Get back and move over there. Okay, move over there. You're around all the vehicles at this point right now. Get onto the sidewalk. Oh no. I just, I just, I just explained to you your caution, okay? So, as I said, if you're talking about whatever media credentials or whatever that you're discussing, we understand that. That's why I caution you. Now, if you want to sit here and stand shoulder to shoulder, not doing anything, and not discussing whatever your right. work is. We are is. discussing now. We are discussing now. until you right? came up. Like, so I then, so then, if you refuse to go six feet apart, we will issue a ticket. This is Canada! This is you don't want to punch back against the cop that's assaulting you, you'll be dead, but you want to sue, so we're going to sue. I was watching this, I was uh, from my phone, I wasn't on the scene, um, but there was a couple other journalists there, not a lot, we had six people there. And um, one of them was with City News, which is a local TV station in Toronto, originally founded by the great Moses Neimer. Now it's owned by Rogers, just a soulless corporation, absolutely supports the lockdown. Um, and the cameraman was told by one of these uh, cops that he's not allowed to be there. Take a look at this. At this point in time, yep. it is not essential service right in the square, so we can't have you come and gather and stay for a while and loiter because unless you're out for an essential reason, which is grocery shopping, going to the doctor, things along those so lines. So you're telling me media is not essential service? That is under information that I was providing that I'm acting on today. That's the information that I was giving. So I'm not allowed in the square right now. Yes, sir. When did that become a thing? So I'm just for my own edification. When I can't tell you the exact date that that started or anything like that. I'm just telling you on the information that I've provided and that I'm acting on today is that's okay. the information I was given, okay? Can I have your name and badge number, officer? Yep, you can see my name right there. Can I just get a quick close-up of it there? Yep, if you don't there mind, you go. Sir? There you go. Okay, so you're telling me I have to leave the square? What happens if I don't leave the square? Then I will be giving you the ticket, okay? Okay. All right, so I'm cautioning you right now and I'm giving you the opportunity to leave on your own admission or you will be fined, okay? Yeah, that's not, that's not a thing. That's not, protesting is not illegal and reporting on protesting is not illegal. And journalism uh, has always been an essential service under Ontario law. I know that going back to March when the first emergency order was brought in, but that has been superseded. There is no more total ban on wandering about. You don't need to be part of any particular prof profession. Um, that cop was spouting BS. I don't know if he was just making it up. Like I say, uh, cops lie. And I, I know this sounds amoral, but I think lying is an important law enforcement tool. I know that sounds amoral or unethical, but if you are an ethical cop dealing with a bad person, if you can use like a Jedi mind trick, if you can tell him some BS, to get him to leave, to get him to climb down from a crime. I think it's actually moral to lie to a criminal if that tool would work instead of a more uh, extreme tool like a taser or your fists or a gun. Um, you, you know, it's, it's never a perfect world out there. If you're a cop, I can imagine it's very hard and um, if you say, well, I could lie to this guy and get him to leave, that's probably going to be a better outcome than shooting him or stabbing him, or cops don't stab, tasering him. 
So um, that cop was lying. I don't know if he knew he was lying or just BSing. I believe the puppy. I believe that our ancestors fought and died so that we could be free. Yeah. So we could have a charter. Well, not, not a lot of freedom going on here, is These there? These men are urinating and defecating on the cenotaphs of every dead soldier across Canada. Oh, no. I just wrote exercising my rights as a free Canadian. You feel free right now. How free am I? Am I free? Do we, are we free anymore? Well, I'm working with the team over there, so I don't know why I can't go in. Protest? Do our, does the charter mean anything anymore, or is it a piece of paper? Isn't that only guaranteed to write the protest in our charter? All right, sir. Does our charter mean anything anymore? He's in touch with his party. I'm not interfering. I wasn't obstructing anything. I was. You're trying, trying to get me. Step back. Protest. Step back. Don't touch me. Don't step back. You're not touching. You're touching me. Step back. You're walking towards. Get back. Get back and move over there. Okay. Move over there. You're around all the vehicles at this point right now. Get onto the sidewalk. So. I am of the view that a cop, an ethical cop, should use bullshit as their first line of defense. Oh, you can't be here. No, 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 you're not essential. No, 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 reporters can't be here. No, no, total lockdown. No, people with red hair, you saw the rules. People with green eyes can't be here. Uh, people uh, between six foot two and six foot three are banned. Like, that's bullshit, right? That's bullshit. And what, I mean, what's the harm in a cop lying other than it lowers the reputation of the force in the eyes of the public? And as that little blurb says, as Harry Frankfurt would say, after a while you become someone to whom truth means nothing. It's a very interesting point. A liar knows the power of the truth, and so he deliberately deceives. Because he respects the truth and its power, he will lie to steal the power of the truth, right? 
A bullshitter just says whatever it takes to get through the moon. Ah, oh, you're looking amazing. No, that dress doesn't make your ass look fat. You look wonderful. That's a bullshitter. How am I doing? That's a bullshitter. Uh, most politicians are bullshitters. Many journalists are bullshitters. I'd say a lot of trial lawyers have to be bullshitters, especially if they have jury trials. But frankly, judges want to hear bull. Your Honor, you look at you working out, Your Honor. You look amazing. How do you stay so young, Your Honor? I think lawyers are bullshitters. So I don't really, but, but what happens when you're in a lockdown and you have a reporter covering police brutality and a cop bullshits? I don't even know if that cop's lying. I don't think that cop even knows what the truth is. I think he's just bullshitting to get that reporter to go away. And that's the distinction I make. So that uh, city news reporter um, complied with the bullshit. And again, it's probably wise not to physically push back against a, a cop because you'll get killed. But um, where's the fuss? Where's the Civil Liberties Association? Where's the Canadian Association of Journalists? Where's the pushback? There is none. There is none because civil liberties don't matter anymore um, if it's just some journalists covering an uh, anti-lockdown protest. Now, there's a Black Lives Matter element to it. Oh, my God. So there's a difference between bullshitting, which we saw there, and assault, which we saw against Mocha. Actually, we only saw it against Efron. Do you have the assault of Mocha? Maybe it was last week. You know, we got a lot of footage. We're compiling it because we want to have all our facts. And no, I understand Mocha's working on it. And it's just not up yet. I'm pretty sure I saw it on someone's Twitter feed uh, this Saturday. It doesn't matter. You get my point. So I'm just trying to make the distinction between a, a cop just bullshitting, hey, guys, you can't be here. Hey, guys, there's a lockdown. Uh, whenever there's a full moon out, there's a lockdown, you guys. Hey, guys, uh, I roll the dice, and if it's uh, seven or eight, uh, if it's snake eyes, you can be out, or if it's box stars, otherwise, you, like, like, that's bullshit, right? So the cop was bullshitting. Um, who cares other than his credibility and the credibility of the Toronto Police Service falls under the notch? But when they start manhandling you or woman handling you, as in the case of that gender quota cop, that's when you sue. Because you don't want to punch back against a cop that's assaulting you. You'll be dead. But you want to sue. So we're going to sue. Oh, hi, friends. What you just saw there is a clip from our Rebel News daily live stream show. It's fun. It's fast. And it's completely unscripted. So you never really know what you're going to get. Just go to rebelnews.com slash livestream to sign up for special alerts.